I would like to replace this switch with switch plus outlet combination and I'm going to show you guys how to do it. So we're going to remove the plate cover but before that make sure that the electrical panel breaker is off so you don't have any power coming to the switch wires. Also make sure you have a tester because sometimes there may be other line wires that are going through this electrical box which could be used as a junction box so make sure you have a hot stick tester when you remove the switch so in your in your case your switch could be mounted to the side screws or it could be backstabbed so if you want to use a flat hat screwdriver and just press that pin it will release this pin. or you can just twist the switch and just remove it this way. In many cases you will have just two wires single pole switch but sometimes you might have a three-way switch but in this case we are taking a look at the single pole switch where we have uh, two wires so one wire will be going to the light which is coming alone it's not connected to anything as you can see and one of the black wires will be coming out of the pigtail like this so this is going to be our common wire so if you have a tape you can just mark it that this is going to be your common and also you will have a pigtail of a neutral wire like this and make sure that when you open up the electrical box you do have a neutral wire because if you don't have a neutral wire there's no way you're going to be able to install that combination switch so all we need in this case when we have a pigtail like this we have to add a neutral wire that will be connected to this pigtail and then feeding our outlet because for our outlet to work we will need hot and the neutral so let's get a pigtail so I have a neutral wire right here which is in most cases you will have a 14 gauge this is a 14 gauge pigtail which I will be connecting to this neutrals all together or you can use one of these push-in connectors which are going to be um, a lot easier just connect all the neutrals in here and connect your pigtail in here and instead of having a wire nut you would have this push and connector but it is in case if you have too many neutrals inside of the electrical box and now we have three wires so one wire is going to the light one is our power line coming common and our neutral and also if you take a look at the switch we have on the left hand side two black screws one of these going to be our um, common line it doesn't matter where you connect it because this is all one terminal on one side but on the left hand side you can see we have a the silver one is going to be our neutral and this brass kind of gold uh, screw is going to be our light which is going to be our black which is leading to the electrical light so I'm connecting my power cable I'm connecting the line to the line side so ideally it, when you have a gr uh, ground screw you have to start with the ground screw connect the ground and then you need to connect the neutral and then you need to connect lastly this hot so now I'm going to connect on that uh, brass screw the load which is our light wire so and after tightening that screw uh, I'm going to connect the neutral wire because I didn't want to mess up these two black wires that's why I just figured out which was my uh, hot wire and I just started doing it backwards but actually if you don't have if you have a power off you should be fine wiring it in any um, sequence so now it's time to put it into the box 
make sure if you have an electrical box like this metal box in my case you can just tape it around in case if you're worried about if it moves close to the bracket of the uh, electrical box it doesn't short out and then we can put this uh, plate new plate cover plate and after that we're gonna turn on the power back and test out the light if it works just fine and then you can plug in anything you want so this was for the closet where I just wanted to use it for a Wacom charger so thanks for watching see you in the next one